Hi, you are watching Colky Drones, and welcome back. Today we've got the X-Wing fighter from Papel. Hi, welcome back to Colky Drones. So today we've got the second in the series of the Star Wars fighters, and this is the T-65 X-Wing. Again, it's made by Papel, and again, it's in the very nice box with the wax seals. So I'm just going to take the top off. So as you can see, as with the last one, it's in the posh presentation case of the light and it plays two. I don't know how many this one does do, let's have a look. Two. So this one does three. Again, back to the Star Wars theme. Again, presentation's fantastic. So while they're going through the unboxing again, I'm just going to take it out of the box and I'll join you in a second. Okay, so we've now got it unboxed. So let's have a look what you do get in the box. So you get a box of spares and in here you get some spare guns. There for the front there. Two, spe two sets of props. Some spare screws. And the really nice propeller remover. This thing's incredibly well made. If you just look at the... It's just really nice. It weighs, it must weigh 20 grams, 30 grams on its own. So that's what you get in there. You get the training cage, which is the prop guard, essentially. Now this goes on the bottom, because underneath it, it would land on its props, but it doesn't because it's got some sensors in there, which I'll explain in part two of the video, but this is the cage that goes on the bottom. You get a very, very nice instruction manual in here that, gives, that runs you through it and runs through the app. And then you get the charger. So this is the charger and it has a plug there that goes to a USB and inside there you've got the wall charger and the USB cable. And these in here are actually the batteries. So let's take the batteries out and have a look at those. So these are the batteries for the drone itself, and they are uh, 1S, I think that's 800 milliamp, and you get two of those. The controller on this one's white, the only difference, it plays totally different tunes, there's no batteries in it at the minute, but it plays totally different tunes this one, because it's obviously for the TIE Fighter and everything's built up for the TIE Fighter, so the speech is differently. Still runs on four AA batteries. Again, you've got the really nice joysticks. That's your altitude hold. So if you flick that off, there you go. That takes altitude hold off. Now for me, that doesn't really matter because I'm going to make this mode one before I fly it. It's very easy to do. It's a simple matter of swapping some cables around inside. That's where you put your phone when you want to play the training app. And then you've got the buttons on the top. Again, incredibly well made. A very, very nice transmitter with a good bit of weight about it. This is not a cheap transmitter. And when you go inside this thing, it's got proper gimbals, uh, proper connect connectors. It's not cheap and nasty when you get inside. It's a very nicely made thing. And then, the item itself. So the X-Wing is probably my favourite Star Wars ship. Again, the detail is absolutely incredible on this thing. Let me get you close to the camera so you can see the finish and the detail on it. The way it's been weathered and everything's just fantastic. They're obviously where your props go. The sensors are for the... to shoot. Got a bit of in the case. So the sensors are there for this button here. So if you press this button, it will fire and it fires a LED beam and if you've got another one in there you can fight each other which is a really cool feature the battery goes in the top here this is just a cover let's pop the battery in there's no on and off switches on any of these propel ones there you go, click the battery in place put the latch down and there you go so red LEDs at the back and then you've got white ones at the front of the wings there. 
incredibly nice. Very, very nicely finished off piece of kit. And as I say, this is my favourite one of, I don't say it's my favourite one of these, but it's my favourite Star Wars chip. So again, I got this in a pack of three for £99 from Scan. Um, we've already reviewed the first one. If you haven't already seen that, at the end of this video, I'll put a link to that video so you can see the video for the first one I did, which was a speeder bike. But yeah, the attention to detail on these things are fantastic. Now, the speeder bike have crashed a lot and nothing has ever got broken on it. These things like this bend, but you can just bend them back into shape. But nothing's actually broken on it. it they're really, really durable, and I hope it flies anywhere near as well as a speeder bike. Because a speeder bike is incredibly nice to fly and incredibly quick. So I'm hoping this has got the same thing. Again, it's got three three rates and a training function on here, so you can fly this with the one metre band if you like. So you metre off the ground, you can't go another metre higher than that. So you fly in a one metre radius, uh, one metre band. It doesn't come out of there when you're in there. It's incredibly easy to fly. So you've not got to bother about throttle management. It's all about learning to get the controls right. After you've done that a few minutes, trust me, anybody will be able to fly it. But yeah, incredibly nice. Again, the finish is fantastic. Everything's even down to the charges. They're just really well done. It. They could have just made some simple cable that plugged in there or something and made it really cheap they haven't they've made a really nice charger so when you pop it on charge the batteries clip in really nicely um, flight times I'm guessing is going to be around six seven minutes as it was on the first one but yeah incredibly nice so so this is the second of three that I'm going to do the third one I've got is a TIE fighter so this is part one. Part two I'm going to have my overall conclusions of when I've flown it and tell you what it flies like and we'll go through more on the controller. I'll let you hear the sounds on the controller and we'll have flight footage of it flying. And then we'll do a part, the next one will be for the TIE Fighter. And at the end of the TIE Fighter one I'm also going to run through the app that you do because this is Bluetooth, all the controllers are Bluetooth so when you put it in here you can control what you see on screen. So it's like FPV I suppose, an FPV trainer. And you can see on screen what it's going to do. And when I've done the third video, I'll put that on there. So, thanks ever so much for watching. And join me in part two. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thanks very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, please hit the like button. And please do consider subscribing if you haven't already. And hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching.